We have another glorious day here in the mountains and we are just off the Bells Line on the Range Fire Trail and we're heading down into Hobnail Canyon today. We're going to follow the fire trail for a little bit and then head down into Range Creek. Let's go. We're leaving the fire trail at the parked cars and making our way down into Range Creek. It does look like it's fairly thick undergrowth here, so it might be a bit of a bush bash. So this is our first view over Range Creek. We're about to make our way down this steep slope. We're just above Range Creek now. Uh, we've just got to negotiate our way down a couple of drop-offs and down into the creek itself. So we've negotiated our way over to this rather slippery chute and we've used this to enter Range Creek. So as we entered Range Creek, we came across this absolutely beautiful pool and waterfall. Just stunning. of the creek does get a little bit scrubby. Just slow the trip down a bit, take your time, easy enough. Well, this looks like a pretty little section. This looks like a really cool narrow section. Well, that was quite a nice little swim. Some choke points in this creek, much easier to walk along the side than try and battle through them. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a like, leave a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. So the creek is quite overgrown and it's very slow going in a lot of places. It does make you look forward to the open sections. So in this very narrow canyon section, it is really choked up and we're going to have to stop and clear the way. So this part of the canyon is only about two feet wide or so. We've had to push our way through and clear a little bit of a tunnel through here. It's been wretched hard work. So this section here, it took a lot of work to get cleared. This is a tight awkward squeeze. I'm glad there's daylight just ahead. <laughs> Still can't believe that we actually managed to tunnel through all of that debris that was there. It took a very long time and a lot of effort.
So we're in the lower constrictions now of Hobnar Canyon. As you just saw, that was a bit of a challenging piece behind us. There is an optional outside you can do. Alternately, what we did was we followed the water course down through the boulders and used a hand over hand line to get into that final pool. I'm concerned. Hobnail Canyon so far, absolutely beautiful. It's a bit of an underrated canyon, I think. When you reach this point in Hobnail Canyon, if you look up, you'll see the climbers Tyrolean. For canyoners, that means that we're not too far from South Bowen Creek. So we've reached the end of Hobnail Canyon. It's joined up with South Bowen's Creek and we're going to continue down the creek towards the traditional exit. So we've reached our exit out of South Bowen's, now just a bit of a scramble to get up on top. On your way out, the path does look as though it heads over towards a waterfall. You need to actually hook left and go up through a tunnel. Oh. Oh. That is a bit of a tight squeeze. I really hate this bit. Yep, I hate it. And thank goodness it's done. So this is the last challenging part of this exit track. We're going to follow a fairly easy trail now, up until we hit the fire trail. Well there you have it, Hobnow Canyon. Uh, we also gave you a bit of a sneak peek into South Bowens Creek as we use that as our exit. This canyon is a really pretty canyon, it is well worth doing. We were slowed down a bit by the amount of flood debris that we had to clear and tunnels we had to clear to get through. Uh, well worth doing though, go out there and explore.